Auditory processing disorder is a learning disability that not a lot of people know about. It's not necessarily a hearing disability, it's more that the brain has trouble processing what is heard. Whether it's at school, at work, at a concert, or even a park, when there's all these different sounds that are just merging with dialogue that you hear, it can be very frustrating. And I would know this because I am one of the people who was in fact diagnosed with APD. I was first diagnosed with it at the age of seven. My teachers, they approached my parents and they noticed that I was having trouble paying attention and comprehending what they were saying. So my parents got me tested for APD by an audiologist who I got in touch with many years later to discuss what the experience was like as well as providing more insight on APD as a whole. The teacher's like, oh, he just can't focus on, on me. He's always like this, you know, he's always looking around. That to me would be, oh, I, I wonder if this child has auditory processing, tolerance, fading memory difficulties. A lot of people would say that you cannot test a child with hearing loss for auditory processing, but that's not the case. You can absolutely test, as I tested you, um, for auditory processing. We just subtract out, or you, you correct out for the hearing loss. Some accommodations that were put in place for me were being able to sit in the front of the classroom. That way I can actually hear the teachers when they're talking especially if they call on me or if they ask me a question. I feel like I struggled the most in social gatherings when it comes to APD. Like at a party, for example. If someone is trying to tell me something like, hey, you having fun at the party tonight? My brain will have trouble deciphering every single word that that person just said due to the extraneous noise in the background. As a result, I would hear something like, hey, you having fun at the party tonight? Or, hey, is you ready to try to party tonight? Normally, I would ask someone to repeat themselves, uh, then, of course, they would say it again. And by the second time, sometimes I will understand what they're saying, but if I ask them to repeat it a third time, they would say, never mind. And I think that really pissed me off, especially friends back in middle school or high school. Uh, this happened a few times. I wish that I was more honest and and told them that I have auditory processing disorder, which is similar to dyslexia, but it involves the ears, but more specifically the brain, because it's not that I can't hear you, it's more that I can't understand what you're saying. Living with APD, it's, it makes me feel disconnected from society. I really struggled with properly processing almost everything that I heard over the years. And what makes it even tougher is that I was born with hearing loss in both ears, which is why I wear two hearing aids. There will be times where I don't hear someone when I also don't understand someone. However, when I wear my hearing aids, there are times where I do hear them, but I just don't know what they're saying. Uh, especially if there are times when they are mumbling or if they're talking too fast or saying multiple things at once, it's very hard to follow. Usually I try to be as close as possible to them, so that way my ears and my brain can both work in tandem to decipher every word that is being said. There are times where I don't want them to have to repeat themselves every time, so if they were to say something to me and I didn't quite catch every word they told me, I would just nod in affirmation or just say something like, ah, right, like, ah, cool, yeah. Uh, uh, and if they laugh, I would also laugh as well. But I, I am not proud of that because I, I don't want to feel like I'm ignoring people. I, I want to be able to talk to them, but they just need to be very patient with me. As tough as it is to live with APD, um, it's not all that bad. Even though it's something that we have to adapt to um, and there's no cure for it, that doesn't mean you can't do well in school or even in the real world. Don't just take my word for it. There are other people out there who have APD. I didn't find out I had APD until I was 16, which was my junior year of high school. I was diagnosed in uh, 2016, so I was almost 22. 
and I actually developed APD because of a concussion, so I wasn't born with it. My mom was having a conversation with the woman who owns the tutoring place, and they were just saying, they were just talking about like her daughter and how she had auditory processing disorder. I think she was like, maybe like Michelle should get checked out because like, I think my mom was just saying how like I'm still, I was still like struggling in school. Like it just took me like so much longer to read in comparison to other people. Started getting worried because of the severity of my concussion. The doctor had said that like there were areas of my brain that had gotten impacted that a lot of medical testing that we have currently isn't even able to see. And so he basically was just like, there may be things you find over the next several years that just don't work like they used to. And as like an 18 year old, that was absolutely terrifying. Even though I got the hearing aid and I went to like speech therapy up until third grade and I had tutors from elementary school up till high school. I especially noticed in high school, like sophomore year, cause that's when I started taking like AP classes and stuff. My tactic was to just memorize things and like repeat it. But the schoolwork was getting so much harder. It was harder to do that. When um, I started not being able to like hear people, I went and got like a normal audiogram done and everything was normal. Um, and I went and saw like my regular doctor and a couple different specialists and they tested me for epilepsy because I was complaining of headaches and they tested me for Oh gosh, so many different things. They like put me through the ringer and like trying to figure out what was going on with me. Every doctor was like, you're fine. So anyway, I ended up having to find a specialist on my own. And when I started talking to her about what was going on and what I was experiencing, she was like, yeah, you should come get tested by me because it's very possible you have an auditory processing disorder. I just hate too how they like call it a learning disability because I feel like that like makes it like a negative connotation like not just APD but I feel like any learning disability because I feel like that freaked me out too because I was like oh my god like people are gonna think I'm stupid or whatever. As someone who has lived with APDs since the age of seven I am still happy despite the difficulties that I have faced with it I'm still not afraid to be social and just get involved with conversations. My advice to those who have APD is that you should not be ashamed of it. You should learn to embrace it and advocate for yourself. Honestly, I'm like so happy I found out I had APD. I feel like there was like that missing piece, like I knew something was like off or just like something was just like wrong, but I feel like once I learned to accept it, I became like more like optimistic and I just, I feel like I just use APD as like a tool of anything to just try to be more patient with myself. The biggest thing would be like, don't be afraid. No where your limits are, know when to stand up for yourself about that, but also don't limit yourself in terms of don't be scared to go try something new because you think it might be hard. I feel like if you could push past like the stigmatism or negative connotation and realize that like it's just part of you. The therapy and the awareness of it um, improves. I think how it's managed and, and helped will always get better. For the longest time, I assumed I was completely different from everyone else and that I was the only one with this disability, especially since I'm the only one in my family who has it. I think it's very comforting to know that I'm not the only one with APD and that there's a community out there who have had the same, if not similar struggles that I had. If you are someone who has APD, know that you are not alone and it is not impossible to succeed as long as you don't make it seem that way. It's just a matter of speaking up and working hard to stay connected to what goes on around you. It won't be easy, but once you push past that boundary, it'll be totally worth it in the end.